Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another highly requested video in our ultimate beginner's guide for SCUM 0.95. And yes, today we are going to be covering fame. Okay, a lot of you guys want to know how to get fame since fame is very important. Um, you need fame to buy certain things, okay, which makes a huge difference. Um, you lose a lot of fame when you get killed by a player. Um, so yeah, fame, as far as I know, um, we only need money to respawn. So the biggest reason that you want fame is probably for bragging rights, but the other thing is just to buy whatever you want to buy at the traders. So we don't need to aim for insane amounts of fame because the biggest problem with fame is even if you get a million fame, as soon as you get killed by a player, you're losing 50% of that fame. So if you take the time that you will have to invest to get to a million fame, just to lose 500,000 of it or 50% of it. Now, if you've got two fame and you get killed, then you lose one fame because you're losing 50% of your fame. So the lower your fame is, the less damaging it is when you get killed by a player where you lose 50% of your fame or where you get killed by a puppet or PvE elements, okay? Play player versus environment elements where you lose... 25% of your fame, okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is that the most important thing about fame is just buying things from the traders, which is very important, which makes your gameplay experience a lot easier, okay? Like if you can't find a hiking backpack, you can go buy a hiking backpack if you've got 30 fame, okay? Um, so just makes overall game experience much better. But again, having 10 million fame, if you compare the time that it will take you to accumulate 10 million fame to how much time it's going to take, you know, how much you're losing when someone kills you, which will always be 50%, it's not wise to go too high with your fame, okay? I would say because nothing really costs you more than 400 fame, okay, at the traders, I would say to going up to 2,000 fame is almost an overkill. But at least you can die two times in succession and still be able to buy a vehicle or whatever you want to buy, okay? But, yeah, I do feel that the way the, the fame works at the moment is not very adventurous. So what I mean by that is it lets you play very, very safe. Um, and doesn't let you take a lot of risks because the penalty to death is so high. Um, although it is a survival game, so that's probably applicable. But in any case, while I've been talking, guys, you guys will see that there's 140 fame um, already accumulated at my fame points, okay? And the main reason for that is if we go to server settings, our fame multiplier is 1,000 at the moment. And I'm playing on my test server, okay? A Luthias test server for testing. So, yeah. Um, number one is you do get fame for just standing still in the world, okay? Just by standing here, we are gaining fame. But, of course, you have to divide that number that we're getting. We're getting about 45 fame every one minute. So, if we divide that by 1,000, it means that we're getting about 0 0.045, okay? Fame every minute. So, um, it basically means you get one fame every 20 minutes, okay, which I will simplify for you now now. But I just want to show you that everything you do in the game gives you fame, okay, and even killing a puppet, you might not see it immediately because it only gives you like 0 0.035 fame when you kill a puppet, but even killing a puppet, okay, um, does give you fame, okay? We've got 215... And then we've got, then we just got 35 fame. Okay. And again, if we go to a calculator, which I've got here, we go 35 divided by 1000. That gives you 0 0.035 fame. Okay. So 
if you take the one that you need, so you go one divided by 0 0.035 equals, you know you're going to need to kill about 38 puppets to gain a single fame point, okay? And you're going to have to stand still for a very, very long time to gain a single fame point. All I'm trying to explain to you guys here within the first five minutes is that you do get fame with absolutely everything you do in the game. You just don't see the rewards of it because it is very, very minute, okay? But to see what, what you can do to increase your fame easier, start um, testing it. You're like, you can go to single player, but testing it on... A thousand multiplier is not good. What I like to do is I like to set it to a 20, a 20 multiplier. Okay. A 20 multiplier is very, very nice for me. So we go apply. And now I'm just going to reset my fame quickly to zero. Okay. And now if we wait a minute, we will be able, we will hit one fame. Okay. And because we're on a 20, um, times fame multiplier, I know it's going to take me 20 minutes with vanilla settings to earn one fame. And I know killing 28 puppets for one fame is also not a great idea, especially with our difficulties to find puppets these days. And with the new puppet system, we literally have to go into dangerous areas where we can get killed. So it doesn't help me going to a police station or going to a bunker to farm puppets when a player can kill me and I lose way less. Let's say I had 50 fame and now I'm going to kill 28 puppets to get one fame and a guy, someone kills me, I lose 25, okay? So we can work backwards there at a major, major, major rate. Now, one thing that, one way that I can help you guys to earn fame easily with minimum risk is basically when it comes to base building. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spawn in. I don't want to use guard mode because guard mode doesn't really work. So I'm going to spawn in um, scrap. Okay, just going to spawn in the items that I need. Yeah, I think it's scrap. Um, let me put down the flag quickly and then it will make it easier for me. So let's say we put down our flag. Okay, there we can see we've been playing for two minutes. Okay. Um, with a 20 times multiplier. So we're going to put it down here. So we need the 10 scrap, okay? Now I'm going to put the 10 scrap in. And we can't use shift F anymore. So we're just going to have to spam the F key, okay? And then we need um, rags. Rags, which is 10. We're going to put that in there. Two nails and a toolbox, okay? Two nails. And a toolbox. It's a big toolbox, but in any case. Okay, there we've got a flag. Okay, clearly nothing has happened to our fame. We've been playing three minutes, okay, with a times 20 multiplier. But let's see now when we start building. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. Just a basic, just a basic structure. And I want you guys to focus on my... Um, on my engineering, okay? Just focus on the engineering. Six six engineering, the sh we don't need to take shortcuts for engineering anymore. So we need three sticks. So we're gonna go stick three and log, rope, knife. Log, rope, knife, okay? So log, I'm going to spawn in more logs here, just to make it a little bit more clear. So I'm going to go 10, 10, 10. That's 30. And then what else stick is 10, is 10, 10, 10. And then rope. Now let's get a lot of rope here. Okay, we just go improvised rope is 10, 10, 10. And then we need a knife, okay? So we're just going to get an axe here, two-handed axe. Okay, so nothing has happened to our fame. But now when we craft this tweak foundation,
Where's my axe? Just grab the axe here. Here we go. Okay. Still nothing has happened to my fame. Okay. So, as you guys can see, nothing has really, really happened. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this bug. Okay, I'll be back now. Okay, so here we are. And just to finish, you know, just to make it look nice, we're gonna put a little door in here. Okay, so, as you guys can see, nothing major has happened with our fame. Okay, now let's go upgrade. Seven planks, two locks. Okay, okay, and now we can upgrade this. Still, still nothing. Okay, but look at our engineering. So, if we just upgrade this little, 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 little thing once, guys, we will reach basic engineering, okay? So, the, the days of, of, of using weird methods to level up engineering is over, okay? Building your base will level up your engineering, so there's a lot of advantages to that, okay? And now, we are going to go with the wall. So we're just going to put down a wall here, holding shift to, to let it go. Okay, now we're just going to let this wall go this way. Going to make it 10 meters. Okay. Okay. Still nothing major. Still nothing major. Now, we're going to upgrade this quickly. So I'll be back now when I get the resources. Okay, so here we go. There we go. We've already got basic engineering. I forgot to make it barbed wire. Okay. Still, not, still nothing phenomenal, guys. Still nothing phenomenal. Okay. Now we go here again. Okay. Let's see if we can fill up this. Okay. Clearly, you guys can see upgrading is not the way. Okay. But if we do this, still something that we can do in our base without taking major risks. Okay, we can go base building, and then we can craft uh, improvised workbench. We put it down here, and then we can set, we can just do it quickly here so that I don't have to get everything. So there we go. And now we can craft ammo. Okay, and what we need for ammo, normal ammo, so uh, like the AK, the AK is good ammo, okay? So to craft the ammo, you need scrap metal, gunpowder, lead plate, and a toolbox. Now, when we go to crafting, we can see we can craft all this ammo. Now, we've only got 30 fame. Okay, guys, we've only got 30 fame. We're going to craft normal ammo. 30 fame with a 20 times multiplier. 10. So that's 0. 0.5. 10 divided by 20 is 0. 0.5. So we're getting 0. 0.5 fame every time we craft normal ammo. And getting all of these resources, you can just play the game naturally. Or you can buy it on official servers. Like I say, um, the trader, the fact that you can buy anything at the trader does remove a lot of survival elements from the game. Okay. But um, at least I've changed a lot of things on my server, so it's not this easy. Okay. So that's 0 0.5. Now I'm just going to cancel that. Now, 
if you want to make it more, if you want to make more than 0.5 fame, okay, then you need to go to the power plant so that you can craft crap ammo, okay? Crap ammo is the same as normal ammo. You can see all the same resources. The only difference is the uranium, which you can open. You can go to, you can go to the power plant over here, and you can break open the uranium lockers at the top with like a crowbar or with some lock picking, but crowbar is a guaranteed way to open, open them up and get the, get the uranium, okay? So when we spawn in uranium, uh, we're just going to go two. It's just two, like get, getting two of these is very, very easy, guys. Getting two of these, okay, is very, very easy from the power plant. But now, if we craft, if we go back to the crafting, now we can craft crap ammo. So instead of getting 0 0.5, now we got 10 with the with this multiplier. Let's see what happens now. So now we're crafting crap ammo. And you can kill sentries with crap ammo. Now we're getting 40. Okay, so we're getting two. We're getting two fame now. For every five crap ammo bullets you craft. Okay, so two, you're using two for every five. Yeah, you're using two for every five. So you can get 20 fame. If my calculations are correct, which I hope they are, which I hope they are, you can get 20 fame from 20 uranium. Yeah, you can get 20 fame from 20 uranium, okay? And you don't have to do it this way, but this is quite a good way to do it, okay? And it's a safe way to do it. All the other ways are quite dangerous, okay? In the, with this method, you still explore the map, you still have fun, okay? And you figure out a lot of things. You explore, you survive... Yeah, you you experience a lot more of the game and then you can and the ammo you can use to kill people because that's the other way to get fame is to kill people and on official servers you can do the events now i don't allow events on my servers but at the moment the best way to gain fame on official servers is events i don't like this at all because the people that have to do pve stuff to gain fame is suffering and the people that are just spamming events, spoiling everyone else's fun, because if you do an event on the map, first of all, you're putting a lot of pressure on the server. And secondly, you're doing events where people want to loot the map, okay? So the fact that the developers haven't done anything about the events, uh, with the event spa spamming yet is very disappointing. And the fact that they made it so that events is the fastest way to gain fame is even worse, in my personal opinion. I think that was very um, unprofessional, and I don't think it was very survival. You know, it's it's you can't let PvP be the main way to gain fame on a survival game, even if the game game's name is scum. You get enough fame by just killing other players. Okay, spamming an event with your friend all day because you and your friend can join an event alone. 24-7, and then, you know, the you let the you let your friend win. You know, you just let your friend kill you all day long, and you and you really want to tell me that's going to make you famous. But in any case, so, yeah, at the top is events, guys. If you do events, you're going to get a lot of fame. If you kill a player, you're going to get 50% of his fame, so, of course, that's faster, okay? And then crafting crap ammo is right there at the top. You used to be able to gain a lot of fame for upgrading your base, okay? Although that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. I've seen people tell me that they gained a lot of fame just for upgrading their base, okay? Um, and most of the things I test, so um, I'm not saying it wasn't like that. It probably was like that. It's not like that anymore, okay? So something that we have to focus on. And like I say, you don't, you don't even need to have a base for this, okay? 
Um, I'm just going to go to scummap.com quickly because I know I know where these workbenches are. So let's just go to a workbench quickly. Uh, right here. So we're just going to copy TP location. We're going to go here. Okay, and then we're going to go control V. And we're going to set our fame. We're first going to change this now. Um, mm. So we're going to make this a one times multiplier, apply. And then we're going to go set fame points to zero. Okay, so now we're on default. We're going to run over here. To this little train yard over here. I'm a little bit lost now. Still stab them through the doors. How sad. How sad. Okay, so here we are. You just need to get you just need to get in front of a draw machine or lathe machine or whatever. Okay, and then we're going to spawn in uranium again. Okay, see what we can craft. Okay, so we've got zero fame. We're gonna craft one AK round. No fame. If we do it again, we should have one fame. We've got one fame. Again, we've only got 20 uranium. We're going to end on 21 uranium. We're going to end on 21 fame because we're going to craft. And what's what's really cool, what's really cool ammo? 3 point, 308. 308 for the scar is really, really potent ammo. 308 is really, really potent ammo. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to end on 26 because we've got 20 depleted uranium. Actually giving us three there. So it looks more like 2.5 that we're getting instead of three. But like I say, by the time this is done, just two uranium. Just two uranium. And um, what did we run out of now? Scrap metal. Okay, let's get a little bit more scrap there. And let's craft it again. Just with two depleted uraniums. Oh, we need another toolbox. Putting in another toolbox. Take this one. If, if it's got very low uses, guys, it's just going to stuff, uh, stuff around with the crafting. Okay. So there we go again. Last one. Just from 20. Just from 20 uranium, we gain 20, uh, roughly about 20, 20 fame. Okay. But I do think that it gives you, 
glitches uh, depleted. We can check the the exact amount that it gives us. So we can set this to zero. And then we can go server settings, set this to a thousand again to get the precise numbers. Fly back, resume. Okay, so now if we craft normal ammo, Normal. Where's the 308? There's the 308. Okay, we craft the normal one. Ignore the 50. Ignore the 50. That's just for being here. That's 450. 450. 450. Okay, so 450. Four thousand divided by four fifty. No, 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 no. Zero point four five. Okay, so we're not even getting zero point five, we're getting zero point four five um for for normal ammo. Okay, and then if we craft the crap ammo, okay, let's just set this to zero again, and then we craft it again. Yeah, 2,500. Okay, so that's 2.5. So we're getting 2.5 whenever we craft crap ammo. Okay? So, basically, guys, to simplify it, you don't want to farm any kind of fame when you can die. When the chance that you're going to run into a player is high. Because it doesn't help you farming for fame when you when you run into a player and he takes 50% of all the fame that you have. So if you want to gather fame on other servers, not mine, spam the events, okay? If you want to get fame on my servers, then, which is basically vanilla, except you can't do events, then killing players is at the top, okay? Is at the top. Then crafting crap ammo is second, and crafting normal ammo is third. And then everything else you do will gain you fame, okay? Leveling up your skills will gain you fame. Um, not a ton, but it will give you fame. But we're looking at the, the top ways to gain fame. That is events, killing people, um, crafting ammo. And it used to be upgrading your base, okay? If any of you knows what's wrong... Um, or any of you, you know, remember how you got fame from upgrading. If any of you have got any other suggestions that I've left out, um, let me know. And if any of you just, if you've stopped playing the game because the fame was so difficult to gain, come and play on my servers, okay? Just go to the main menu, go to multiplayer, type in L-U-T-H, okay, without caps lock on. And come join any any of my servers, okay? Most of them, like Survival Evolved and New Dawn, have got, this is my PvP server, this is my PvE server. They have got, and my whitelist server, they have got increased, uh, an increased fame multiplier, okay? So that you can gain fame easier. And come join me. Discord link is in the description down below. I hope this helped you. If you've got any other tips for me, please leave it down in the comments below. Any any way that you like gaining fame, if you think I've left it out. I know healing um, also gains you fame, but again, um, even if you use a razor to heal C4 wounds to gain fame, it's still you can still die. A player can still come in there and kill you. You can still make a mistake and actually die from a horde or from puppets and then lose 25% of your fame. So the safest way by far is to do it in your base, okay? If you've got any questions, leave it down in the comments below. And if you've got anything that you feel I didn't, I left out, let me know about it. Cheers.